What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra here, hanging out with my buddy Alex Campbell. Whoop whoop. I don't give a fuck. My name isn't Warlord for nothing. I got brothers everywhere. Because we're warriors. Huh, cool. What the fuck is this nasty shit? Who the fuck's. Oh, dude, that's disgusting. Send me a picture of my fucking friend's dick on it. You fucking disgusting. Like. Alexander Warlord Campbell, the provocateur of all homeboys, an ego that is septic with overconfidence, oozing like a polonial cyst straight through the YouTubes and into your brain. Your rectum clenches, your mind ceases, and a dark void of jealousy creeps up on you. Maybe you could have handled that little rectum clench more fluidly if you had the muscle control of Alex Campbell. Homeboy Alex has the sexual prowess that Cobra dreams of. Well, without the elements of homosexuality, but that is debatable. The irritability of Warlord stems from his savant dumbness of telling retarded lies. The last of the warriors of all the dish pits in the whole of Casper, Wyoming. Alex Warlord Campbell is one of King Cobra JFS's homies. Warlord appeared in many of Josh's YouTube videos and Facebook live streams from March 2017 until early 2018. So, who is Alex Warlord Campbell? Parts of Warlord's past are unknown. For the sake of this video, we will only discuss what we know about his past that is somewhat accurate. Alex Warlord Campbell was born June 19, 1993 in Casper, Wyoming. Not much is known about his upbringing or his family, so let's skip ahead. In 2017, Warlord was married to a Casper local named Winona. Warlord and Winona were not married for very long and were officially divorced in January 2018 after applying for a divorce in November 2017. During the finalization of their divorce, Warlord began seeing homeboy Michael Baldwin's cousin, Valerie. In Casper, most people are related in some way. Doing what Casper locals are best known for, Warlord impregnated his new girlfriend just mere months after dating. Valerie's hardcore conservative and religious mother forced the couple to have a shotgun wedding around a Christmas tree. What you will now witness is exclusive footage of Warlord's marriage ceremony. The other side, Alex. Sorry. Yep. Valerie and Alex have asked to share this special moment with you. Valerie Renee Green, do you take Alexander to be your lawfully wedded husband, Alexander Wayne Campbell? Do you take Valerie to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Does anyone in attendance have any reason that these two should not be joined together in holy matrimony? No, and if they do, they can pump pick a bone with me. <laughs> <laughs> By the power vested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. No, I don't know. That's the way it should be, right? Hang on. <laughs> Warlord's first documented appearance into the Cobraverse happened on March 27th, 2017, where Warlord and Josh shared a pizza. What's good, YouTube? <coughs> <coughs> well, on the way back to my apartment, I ran into my buddy Alex Campbell. He's like, hey man, can I hang out for a bit? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, my buddy Alex Campbell over here has got a uh, bit of a cold he's been trying to fight. Oh, yeah. Feel, feel kind of bad for him. 
I hardly ever get sick. My immune system is quite healthy. But when I do get sick, it's just not fun. So I've been there, done that, you know. My immune system is so healthy that it's almost unhuman sometimes. All right, so we got Little Caesars. <coughs> This is a winner in my book. And then you want another piece? Sure. Hell yeah. So what do you think of this pizza? Pretty good pizza, bro. I would have to agree with you on that. <coughs> <coughs> I had a couple of the female waitresses checking me out, though. <laughs> mm. <coughs> so how long have you had that cold? Mm, probably about... Week and a half. Ugh. When that I, sucks. When I first got it, it was much worse, so. Right. Alright, YouTube, it is drink combo time. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey, you guys. And some people have told me I, I look like a younger Aussie, which I take that as a compliment. <laughs> You want a little bit of swamp, but you like to clear out your sinuses. A little bit what? Hot sauce to clear out your sinuses. Sure. <coughs> how, do you, how do your sinus? How's your sinus feeling now? Clear. Hell yeah. The sinuses are definitely worth it. Yeah, it clears out your sinuses though. Warlord is best known throughout Casper, Wyoming for being a dish pit veteran, often working long shifts to support his wife, child, and Warhammer PlayStation 2 habit. Alex would fairly often kick it with Josh at his apartment, and would go on to appear in many of Josh's Facebook live streams. What's good, YouTube? So I'm hanging out with some friends of mine, my buddy Alex Campbell and his girlfriend, and... They brought over a uh, delicious smokehouse pizza from Little Caesars. Little Caesars, bro. Seriously, keep that smokehouse pizza on the menu. That shit is going to make you the money, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because that's good pizza, man. Fletchman's Vodka, Cherry Pepsi, Strawberry Maestro Lemonade. Well, of course I am. It's a Cobra drink named after me. I should feel honored. Right? <laughs> Yeah, we're calling this drink combination Cobra Campbell, and it's pretty good. Named after my buddy Alex Campbell over here. Do I also have a YouTube channel with the same name? I only have one video, 60 seconds long. Please like. Put a lot of hard work into it. I know it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> Off of two gallons of vodka. <laughs> In that video you did? That's yeah, I was uh, drunk off two gallons of vodka. <laughs> it's only 60 seconds long because that's as long as my phone would allow me to send to YouTube. And they were fools about the kangaroos, the 90 kangaroos. They literally released kangaroos into the state of Wyoming. Okay, okay. You heard from Alex Campbell right here. He called Game and Fish to check on it, and they legitimately did. The white tailed deer, for example, did you know is not native to Wyoming? Hmm. But. They prefer you to hunt whitetails in the state of Wyoming because they are, um, quote unquote, a nuisance to the native mule deer population. And whitetails are a foreign species, but people right. come here to hunt whitetail all the time. Right, right. Chicken or some stupid shit. What if the kangaroos had sex with the antelopes that run through Casper? <laughs> Well, 60 years ago, I got a mountain lion. Poor bro. Hmm. I'd be like, Mom, I'm working on it. And she'd be like, your sisters and your brothers worked on it years ago. Josh, you weren't supposed to make a mess. I didn't fucking mean to. God damn it. Okay, I'm... He's a little bit <laughs> My lighter died. Shitty, shitty bang bang, huh? So your girlfriend just killed your lighter. Yeah, she did it on purpose. <laughs> she got a good reason for me to quit smoking. But I'm not sure that's something I should reveal just yet. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I've been through enough relationships. I, I, I know what's going on before she beat the... Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying. We're having a baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Like I said, I know before she even does. In fact, I'm so sure of this, I can tell you the exact moment. Hey, at least we know it ain't mine. <laughs> Damn straight, it ain't you. <laughs> shit, last time I had sex was like before Thanksgiving. And the last chick I had sex with said I was really good at eating pussy, so, you know, hey. I don't know, I haven't asked my new woman yet. How bad at eating pussy? I just... I just asked her, okay? And if there's no response after this video's over, I'm gonna fold the thing over that hole. Oh, and if there's no response after this video's over, I'm gonna fold the thing over that hole. I see him under the window! I'm gonna send off! I'm gonna send off! Really horrible cover of this song, but it looks like a match with Michael's pitching voice. You know what, bro? What? I give you fucking props. You know why? Why is that? That guy, every music video he would ever see him in, he's wearing these guy, these fucking tight ass skinny jeans. <laughs> and you tried. You're damned as being snockered to sing that song. I used to wear skinny jeans in high school, right? Yeah. I felt like my balls were in my throat. I couldn't speak. And I'm not wearing skinny jeans. I'm wearing black Wrangler or black jeans. So I, I couldn't speak. Maybe if his balls were in his throat, he would sound just like him. I thought my balls are not in my throat, so I guess that's my only downfall. No, they're, they're, they're deep down between your legs, right? <laughs> <laughs> And if they are, thank fucking God, because you're the same as me. Thank you, YouTube. This is Alex Campbell. <laughs> Being a smart ass as usual. This is one thing I've noticed about all this time I've spent over here watching you do this stuff is you have real good attention to sound distance memory. You can remember when a, the exact moment when a sound starts and when it ends. Which is cool because I don't have that that kind of hearing, but I can't I can't hear, I can't play the guitar. I'm sorry, but it's it's too much for my brain. I can't play the guitar either, man. Yeah, but still, I mean, I've known you for how long? A couple years now. Yeah. And I've always told you, dude, that's awesome. Keep doing it. And he still treats me like a fucking friend. That makes him a best friend to me, which isn't very many in the world. You know how many people live on this planet? Right. And I can only trust five of those motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely right. Several of Josh's fans became annoyed with Warlord and quickly began calling him a bullshitter when he would tell Josh many of his idiotic stories. Though some of Josh's fans liked Warlord and thought he was an entertaining addition to the Cobraverse. Similar to most of Josh's friends, accusations were made that Warlord was a moocher, and this really got to him. A frequent topic of discussion that always seemed to pop up with Alex was his sexuality. Josh announced that Alex is bisexual and also dabbled in transsexuals. What's good, YouTube? This is some good tobacco, smelling tobacco. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to drop it, god damn it. I was so like, guess what, bro? What? The other day I got so tired of people fucking, like, I got thinking about, like, why do people have to bully other people? It, it made me mad, and I was just walking along trying to get signs, bro. Yeah. And I had my military jacket on, the one that uh, I got. Yeah. And, uh, some guy was driving by and he was really hard and he had his window down. He was like, fucking hoser. And I'm just like, hey, come back and save my face. And he looked out his window like, really? <laughs> right? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra here hanging out with my buddy Alex Campbell. Ooh, ooh. Well, a buddy brought some alcohol over and we have... Oh, we got two beer bottles besides this one, but we got some Fleshman's, and we got some Cherry 7-Up to make a drink combination we call Pink Cobra. Sponsored by Alex Campbell. Subscribe.
like, even if it don't come out with new shit, still like it. Yeah. Yeah. Which I will be coming out with more videos here soon. Just as soon as I get my shit in order, okay, YouTube? Yeah. Alright. 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 Well, my pop tobacco did not get in here today, damn it. But hopefully tomorrow. Which is what I bought this for. Yeah, my buddy Alex buys himself a brand new tobacco pipe just for the review, and lo and behold... Do you want me to show it for the review? Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Mills Cigar Store, which Mills is a separate town to Casper. Look at that. Mmm. Nice. Brand new. Never been used. Won't be used until that pipe tobacco gets here. <laughs> Alright? So, damn it, I can't even use my new pipe until it gets here. Well, you could, but... I could, but I won't, because I have three other fucking pipes on me. Well, two, not three. Now I have just as many as Josh does sitting in his ashtray. Which, thank you for donating a little bit of your uh, summer dream pipe tobacco to me. I appreciate it. Not a problem. I'm going to try and enjoy it. I mean, this pipe here I got from my brother that he gave back to me is a little bit cracked right here, but it's got enough in it that it really doesn't bother it that much. But, unfortunately, since, you know, the guy who owned Rialto passed away, it's been much harder to get tobacco pipes. I do believe that Josh and I do have a drink mix for you. Yes, we do. <coughs> yes, we Put this tobacco out for later. Mm, yep, it's Marlboro. Tobacco is tobacco, but in the eyes of the gods, tobacco is a gift. Yes. I mean, they don't have to give the shit to us. And yes, YouTube, that is Fleshman's. It is 80 proof. Yep. Look at that, YouTube. Look at that, YouTube. Just to make this one drink, that's a half, a half pint. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, less than half, isn't it? A little bit less than half now. I mean, I... You spilled a little bit on the carpet. It's all good. I spilled a little bit on the carpet, but you know what? That part of the carpet will be clean and sanitized. There you go. In mine. So, Pink Cobra. Okay. If nobody knows what second face is, I feel sorry for you. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Even if you don't know what it is, you better fucking support it. Yeah, my buddy Alex Campbell, his mom passed away of breast cancer, unfortunately. November 20th, 2008. Normally I don't drink caffeine free, but I'm not bitching, it's Chase, you know. <laughs> and you know also why he's not bitching? Why? I paid for it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Campbell here to serve and represent. Whoop <laughs> whoop! No, 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 usually I don't get over here to Josh's house very often. Which, I'm sorry if that's the wrong thing to call you during your YouTube I don't really care, honestly. I, 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 I know I, you. I don't ask my friends to call me King Cobra. I know you I don't. as, I know you as Josh, or the other one, and usually when I call you the other one, you're like, you don't have to call me that, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Josh, good friend of mine, right? I swear, I swear to God, if he was born from my mother... He would be the exact opposite to my older brother by 10 months and 5 days, who actually seems more like he's my proper older brother. He smokes a pipe tobacco, he's crazy, he's gothic, he enjoys a lot of the same shit I do, but damn it, we're not related. Here's to the Cobra. May he live long and prosper. <laughs> Hello? Yes, yes, I'll let you talk to him. It's your girlfriend, Alex. Hi, baby. How am I in trouble? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, AJ wants me to call him, huh? Alright, well, I love you, baby. Uh, what are you doing at James? I know, but every time I go over to Russ's, I drink a little bit, and then I buy a little bit more alcohol, so it's just best for me not to be around people that drink all the time. Well, you don't have to stop drinking completely, just, you know, moderation a little bit. Yes, like Josh said, moderation, which would be like... See, if I had a girlfriend, she told me I couldn't drink a certain amount, I'd be like, girl, you ain't big enough to tell me what to do. No, I drink as much alcohol um, as I want, you ain't gonna stop me. Angie. Well, that's just me. I love you, I just... Like... I've been stupid, and 
I've been going through some shit, and yeah, this is a real wake-up call for me. And I need to figure out what's more important, alcohol or you. And you are more important, hands down. Aww. Uh, Alright, I love you, and I'll prove it to you when I get home. Ooh, we don't need right, to know that. <sighs> right. Well, I come over here, and I either buy pizza, or I buy alcohol, or I buy other unmentionables, and she's a little tired of it. It's stressing her out a little. It's your life, though, dude. Like, straight up. Ready to blow off in a complete relationship where I could possibly have a kid involved and fuck up the rest of my life without any happiness just for alcohol or a good time. It's good to be single sometimes. <sighs> I'm not, I don't got some bitch pregnant. I don't got STDs. I don't, yeah, you know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bask in your glory, good sir. Bask in your glory. At least you haven't been as stupid as I am. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just saying you want, you're the kind of person that wants to have kids. I don't no, know. no. You're not the one saying I'm stupid. I'm the one saying I'm stupid. That's what I was just saying. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and I know YouTube that I'm a sexy bad boy gothic musician and chicks eat that shit up you say chicks eat that shit up well that's depending on your sexual preference YouTube you don't never know the fucking other sex <laughs> damn it I fucking knew it I knew it if I was just to say that comment it would get him to shake his fucking head and wonder at me like what the fuck Fuck, bro. Are you on drugs and you're not sharing? What the f- Wait, alcohol is a drug. <laughs> it's a legal is, drug. Alcohol is a drug and I'm sharing. In fact, I've even fucking paid for it. Bro. I was kidding. God damn. I've been fucked over so much in my life. I don't know if you're kidding or not. <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking with you, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I have a Glock 45 sitting in my fucking house right fucking now. With a 17 round clip. You want to fuck with me? Go ahead. Boom! 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 Do you feel lucky, punk? Yeah. That's why I would like you to like and subscribe. And if you don't, I will find your fucking address. I will find your place of living, which is your address. I will find your place of work. And I will show up and be like, hey, bro, you didn't subscribe to Josh's YouTube channel. You don't have to be like that. I'm a little bit upset. <laughs> Don't tell me I don't have to be like that, Josh. <laughs> yeah. In all reality, bro. If I wasn't so fucking drunk, I would tell them honestly. Subscribe, please. But I'm not. YouTube. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves you all, YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Even if you're fucking assholes, I love you all. Because I'm not racist. Okay, then. I say I'm not racist, but there's only one race on this fucking planet. The girl. human race. The human race. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is King Cobra J King. Fucking photo booth. Fucking photo booth. After nine long months of unemployment, Warlord got Josh a job as a dishwasher where he worked. As for the name of the restaurant, you could call it the office where they have a bar and grill. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra here, smoking on a black cherry delicioso cigar. I got a job. I got a job, $10 an hour, washing dishes. Hell yeah. This will allow me to get my shotgun fixed, among other things. <laughs> uh... I want to give a shout out to my buddy Alex Campbell who helped me get this job, bro. Thank you, bro, for helping me get this job. So just thought I'd share the good news with all my awesome YouTube fans. Your boy King Cobra got himself a dishwashing job. And this dishwashing job pays $10 an hour. And I'll catch you all later. What's good, YouTube? I made a bag of custom blended pipe tobacco. I, right now I'm hanging out with my buddy Alex Campbell before he goes to work. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I got me a job, YouTube, and $10 an hour dishwashing. That's all you need to know. I got a couple hours yet before I gotta go to work, so. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. And.
and uh, I'll catch you all later, huh? After working a few shifts at the office, I mean Dishpit, Warlord heard about the troubles he was having with the real King Cobra. King Cobra with a K. Alex went on to insert himself into the situation and to try to intimidate King Cobra with his alpha male physique and war stories. He also made mention of sticking his penis inside another man. Look what I have here. My BC Rich Warlock Revenge Series guitar. Anyways, the reason why I was not able to be on Keeper Cast yesterday is because I had to work. And I would be getting paid $10 an hour, but it's only $7 an hour right now until we can get stuff figured out at work, which I don't mind. Either way you shape it, I'm still getting paid, you know? And when I watched the newest episode of Keeper Cast, I noticed that the phony King Cobra decided to make an appearance. I would like to introduce a good friend of mine, Warlord Campbell, who's been a friend of mine for a lot, for like three years. So, yeah, if you want to, you know, say what you got to say. What is good, YouTube? I don't know. I'm not very familiar with YouTube. I only have one video on my channel. I have three subscribers and two likes. And it's only 16 seconds long, but I don't give a fuck. Okay, seriously. I live here. My family's along, had a long history here. I don't give a fuck. This is bullshit, okay? A lot of bullshit. I don't give a fuck. My name isn't Warlord for nothing, okay? Don't like me? Don't like my fucking Torchic? I'll kiss you in the face with it. If not, I got brothers everywhere. Right. Because we're warriors. And first of all, motherfucker, when you hit a tobacco pipe, you gotta have a fucking lighter. Yeah. I work in a dish pit. I work in a dish pit with the real gothic King Cobra. And if you work in that dish pit, I ain't never seen you there before. Right? So seriously, if you work there, let's step outside. I have only had one day off in the past 12 days. If you had worked there, I'd know it. Yeah. Right now, I have 53 hours of normal time and 10 hours overtime. So if you were there, I'd know it. I got a joke for you, Sean. What's that? So this one guy, right? Yeah. Brings over this chick's corpse and he goes, you fucker. And he goes, no, you fucker. <laughs> I dug her up and he goes, you fucker, you brought her. <laughs> <laughs> Will the real King Cobra please stand up? Will the real King Cobra please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> you dude, seriously, you ain't my brother. And I can't say you're my enemy because my enemies, I love too. If you really are working in a dish pit here in Casper, I'd know you. Yeah. I've worked in every dish pit here. Yeah, that phony King Cobra likes to suck my dick until I come in the back of his fucking throat and guzzles on it. Sick, I know, right? His obsession whoa, with me. Whoa, quit, quit fueling Slanesh there. Come on, come what? on. Quit fueling Slanesh. Slanesh? Slanesh is the hermaphrodite goddess of sex and pleasure and pain. So, <laughs> yeah, for all you sadistic motherfuckers that are masochists, yeah, that, that's your goddess right there. <laughs> or god, either way you prefer it, you know. <laughs> this guy right here. And I'm sorry, but... Yeah, exactly. You gotta know how to lick it before you can beat it. Oh! And that goes both ways. Yes! Yes! Yeah! But seriously, don't go to ass to mouth unless you like that thing. <laughs> you like the taste of psychotic cunt, don't you? Shut up! Hey, 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 we don't need to mention my ex-wife here, come uh, on! Oh, oh, okay, don't bring here. <laughs> no, 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 definitely don't, come on! I mean, it might be a warlord, but damn, World War Three almost started over that shit. Woo! He was talking about his biological mother. What the fuck does your ex-wife have to do with it? Psychotic cunt. Oh. Yeah, that's about it. Hey, I'm good friends with your ex-wife, so I'm not gonna say shit. Yeah, but well, we all know she's psychotic. And she has a cunt, so, yeah. <laughs> no. I still love the woman! So this is the one that made for... <clears throat> Oops. Damn it, Josh, I told you, no eating butterfingers, man. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at these abs. Yeah. Go ahead and squeeze all that tobacco out of them butts just like that. Woo! Oh, squeeze the butts and you're like, woo! Okay, I get what you're doing. <laughs> well, I like to squeeze butts. Especially if they're nice, round, and firm. Female butts. <laughs> well, the thing is, is they never take their clothes off. You probably want to know most of them are female. 
on, I've had a hermaphrodite girlfriend. Ew. She nice. She looked the same when you flipped her over. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm just a sickness motherfucker, so. Yeah, I don't... Nah, I've, I've had people tell me, man, you really are a space marine. You have no fear. And I go, what do you mean by that? Because even Godzilla's looking at that bitch going, oh, damn! But I kind of have this habit of getting with crazy psychotic women. Yeah, you do. Doesn't matter if they're fat, ugly, or hot. You know, King Kerber, I got a joke for you. What's that? Sex, right? <laughs> Sex is a joke, I agree. Sex is like a box of KFC chicken. First, you nip on the legs, then you nibble on the thighs, then you nibble on the breasts. And when you're done, you got a greasy box to stick your bone in. <laughs> Sex is also like math. First, you subtract the clothes, you add the bed, you divide the legs, and hope to God you don't multiply. <laughs> uh, Unless you're like me and you do. You see this right here, YouTube? This is called muscle mass. I like to feed trolls because they get nice and fat and slow. <laughs> Basically, in other words, YouTube, for that fake King Cobra, up yours. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is King Cobra JFS, the one and only, with another video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you cool cats and cool cobras later. <laughs> Alex began hanging out at Josh's apartment more and more frequently. As time progressed, Josh was visibly becoming more and more annoyed with the warlord due to his constant butting in and talking over Josh. Josh hates it when people talk over him. Good fine afternoon, you two. Oh, that's the, that's the lighter my buddy Alex bought me, so. Declaration of Independence printed on it against the flag. It, I it, spoil my people's YouTube. <laughs> so now I'm here to try Mountain Dew Green Label. I'm not a sponsor, so just throwing that out there. All the opinions of this drink are my own, and... Nobody pressured him to make these opinions. Nobody held a finger gun to his head. <laughs> <laughs> and this cobra took to my skin quite nicely. Man, I got a pot leaf right there on one side, and then I got a pot leaf over here. That looks sick as fuck. It was fabulous. Oh, no. I just had to say it like that, man. I'm sorry. No, just no. <laughs> just no. Hey, at least I'm not working at the mall and doing that. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, how does your girlfriend feel about you talking like that? <laughs> she fucking thinks it's funny. She thinks it's funny. Well, there you go. She'd be like, well, what do you think of these, babe? Oh, my God, they're so perfect. And she's just like, come on, quit being a smart ass. I'm seriously, they're, they're perfect for your feet. <laughs> well, how do you mean they're perfect? They fit, don't they? Well, the chick I cheated on Stephanie with, I gave her a cigarette to fuck me. Damn, that's pretty easy. I'm just saying. Like, damn, Cobra's turning tricks for cigarettes. What the fuck? <laughs> the number four is everywhere. I'll drink to that. I will most definitely drink to hey, that. Speaking of the number four, my son turned four on the 12th of May. Really? Uh huh. Uh, how about that? How well, about, about that? My roommate Russ had his birthday the same day. He's <laughs> 57. Oh, that, that's a problem let me help, with you, finish, oh, let me help you finish this real quick. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Make Russ and the old father proud. Jesus. It's a cunt. Jesus definitely is a cunt. cunt. Definitely a cunt, but we all worship the cunt. I don't worship Jesus. Fuck that noise. You don't like vagina? Well, then fuck you. Hey. Okay, I am straight. I just, I just, I was like, it was a play on words. Josh. Okay. It's all that matters. But I don't try because I get rejected all the goddamn time. Yeah, I'm very straight, but, like, I hate dating and sex because I get rejected all the goddamn time. And that's only because it, it, I, I was willing to marry this chick in high school, so... You know what pisses me off, YouTube? When men treat women like absolute shit. I married my ex-wife nine days after I started dating her. She asked me to marry her the first fucking night after we... In the middle of sex, not even after, the middle, for crying out loud, she couldn't even wait until after. Right. I did it anyways. I just got a bunch of ash hit me. No, actually, head. no, no, correction, bro. Your ass is mandatory, mandatory to show up to my wedding. At least show up. Show up for like two fucking minutes and say, hey, congratulations. 
Peace. I'll stay for the <laughs> entire thing, dude. It'll be I'm better because you're getting waste wasted afterwards. Dude. Not to mention you have plenty of single friends. So. Do I look like I care? I guarantee you. I get you on a dance floor after the reception, especially after I'm paying for it. I guarantee you, you're getting fucking laid on my wedding night. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck either. Fuck sex and fuck dating and fuck companionship. All, all, right, all, all right then, all right then. Because I guarantee fucking tea you, if I go to your fucking wedding, ain't none of her single friends going to be into me. So you, you're wasting your fucking breath. Uh, uh, it might be your opinion. Hate it like a cake, man. That's a good King Cobra song. Hell yeah. <laughs> my, my first experience, I was 12 years old, and I hate that shit like a cake, man. My first experience, I was in my fucking 20s, and I was at Job Corps in the girls' bathroom. I remember one time I choke slammed my older brother through a solid oak table. This table was made out of one fucking oak tree. It was a hundred years old. Sturdy as fuck. And I slammed him through that motherfucker and broke it. Oh, damn. Still to this day, I feel bad for it. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a mean-ass dishwasher, and that dish pit's my bitch. When I tell my bitch to do something, she does it. If anyone doesn't like me telling my bitch to do something, they can go fuck themselves. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just... I'm a professional dishwasher, and I'm... I am downright mean and nasty when it comes to my dish pit. If it's not getting run how I fucking want to run it, I will throw a fucking fit and tell us Ron how I want to run it. Well, I got a Studebaker I want to save up money for, but that's not going to happen until, like, I get my shotgun fixed first, and then, yeah. This is a donation from Homeboy Campbell to the Gothic King Cobra, or as I like to call him, my good friend Josh. Oh. Hold on to that. Save that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Get your shotgun fixed. Oh yeah, fire in the hole! Good. Whoa, he farted. <laughs> Whoa, this is an explosion going on. <laughs> to the senses. I give the bottles to a friend of mine. He makes lamps out of them. He gets 40 bucks. Siphoning from Josh's popularity, Warlord made a YouTube channel in which he would record his TV, playing Warhammer Space Marines on the PlayStation 2. Josh would plug Alex's shitty YouTube channel fairly often. Hey, what's good, Tubes? So, hanging out here with Alex Campbell, and, um... Do you still think I'm pretty? <laughs> My buddy Steve told me, he's like, I can see into the future. I'm like, that's cool, you know. Or oh, here's an advice. Why don't we use Newton's laws of physics and relativity and accept the fact that you're not going to find a male version to yourself. You should be finding the male version that is not yourself. Your opposite. Because opposites attract. Sometimes and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes, sometimes. But like your true exact polar opposite. Anyways, thank you for watching, and also, if you could, subscribe to my homeboy Alex Campbell's channel. That would be awesome. I'll provide his channel link. I'll provide his channel link in the description box below. Anyways, Tubes, thank you for watching, and I will definitely catch you all. That's all, folks. I'll definitely catch you all later. In June 2017... Alex moved away from Casper for a short period of time to finalize his divorce with his now ex-wife Winona and marry his new wife, Valerie. Warlord would return to Casper in January 2018 and hang out with Josh on live streams once again. During one live stream, Alex mentions that Josh's ex-girlfriend Summer was thinking of going transgender. Josh exhibits a special way of showing his support. Make a less depressing live stream, I suppose. <laughs> Chilling out with uh, homeboy Alex Campbell, and um, he hooked it up with a cigar. Does Alex Campbell still play video games? Gee, does Tony Hawk skateboard? Uh, no. I am Warhammer 40K strictly. Answer a silly question with a sarcastic remark. No, that's just the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have anything else. Yeah. Yeah, someone did mention thoughts of becoming trans when she was with me. So it doesn't surprise me, you know. Well, she's always had those, bro.
Yeah. I support her 100%. That's how she feels, you know. I'm just going to say her fake-ass dick's not going to be as good as mine, but, you know, her loss, not mine. As long as people are happy. No, there really isn't any nightclubs. There are no nightclubs in Casper. Unfortunately. Well, we got racks, but it's not really a nightclub. Yeah, and I've, I haven't heard the best rumors about that place, so I'm just, yeah. I've heard if you want to get laid, bring 60 bucks. Oh, dude. That's just what I've heard. I was going to say, if it's true, that's kind of grody, Brody. Like, of course, if you want that, you can find that all over this town. Honestly, it's the best policy. Mr. Campbell, were you drunk walking around at 1 o'clock in the morning? Yes, sir, I was. Yes, it was stupid. Yes, I'll do it again. Do it again. All right, Mr. Campbell. I'm going to give you a $100 fine, $10 court cost, and I'm going to give you until the end of next month to pay it. Think you can do it? Yeah, I can do that, Your Honor. Same day, I got a job. <laughs> Ironically, at a bar. <laughs> yeah. I even got a medal this year. Well, last year, actually. Yeah. From President Trump for being out, an outstanding citizen. I'm like, really? Really? This is the second one I've gotten. First one was from Bill Clinton. Huh. If you're just tuning in, this is the vodka we're sipping on. It's Fletchman's. Yeah, sipping. In the end, Summer did not transition and is now happily engaged to a strange man from Casper. A pattern with Warlord further solidified. Whenever Josh would make a video, it would always turn into The Alex Show, where Alex would talk and tell bullshit stories and Josh would pretend to care. To get Josh to react, Warlord would discuss weed or something Josh was interested in. What up, Facebook? What is up? You're practically joining me in the middle of a cooking video as we speak. Do you know, you know Mountain Dew got its name from Moonshine? Really? I did not know that. Yeah, you know how they call it a Mountain Dew or Dew Shine? Yeah. Dew Shine used to be what they called a Mountain Dew. Like Mountain Dew was originally called Dew Shine, but it was originally code word for Moonshine. Huh. You learn something new every day, don't you, Facebook? And that's on the Mountain Dew website. Hell yeah. Chilling out with um, my buddy Alex Campbell, having some drink. Oh, I did get a new video uploaded to my YouTube. Did you? Yep. Cool. I decided I was going to ask some more some questions. Nice. And I have... That drink combination. Back to it. Alex Campbell decided to name this drink combination. He calls it the Torch Bug. <laughs> How did your friend get hit by a car? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He was... Waiting for my dumb ass to get home from doing something, and he got tired of waiting and decided to walk home, and then on the way back to his place from mine, he got hit. I kind of figure karma will sort its way out for that mm -hmm. fucking asshole. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I got hit by a vehicle, though. I've been hit by a vehicle before. It's not fun. This is the biggest vehicle I got hit by, though. It was a Ford F-250. Oh, Jesus. The rest of them was all been small cars and went over the top of them. This was actually a big truck. I think it stopped, though. I the driver was pretty mortified, wasn't he? Yeah, he was freaked out. I mean, he didn't care about his uh, busted, glowing Ford decal or anything like that, I guess. But he's glad I was okay. Oh, that's good. He cared more about you than his busted Ford decal. That's that's good. That was one of those light-up ones. Yeah. So yesterday, right, I got a ring. A ring, you say? From Wish.com. Huh. A free gift. And it's got a real ruby. It's real silver. And I got it for free from Wish. Huh. Well, what's funny, right? It comes from China. I didn't put down my U my uh, gamer tag, let alone my old gamer tag. Yeah. On anything. And it comes in the mail, and the package says Logan Stormfay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. And I'm like, yes, I got hanging up on my wall right now. Where you see that one cop gets his finger into the bag, he's like, let's go, let's go. You know, he's been around the party a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll definitely catch y'all later, Facebook. Check out that uh, cooking video when it uploads. On February 21st, 2018, Josh went live on YouTube for the very first time with a video title, Candy and Beer. Despite being labeled a mooch by the fandom, Warlord brought over a six-pack of beer and some candy for them to review. This was a monumental occasion for the fandom to talk shit about Alex and hear his response in real time. 
This was also the first time Josh further elaborated on Warlord's sexual orientation. How about now? There we go. So I'm here with my buddy Alexander Campbell. You know him as Warlord Campbell, Logan Storm fame. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. He brought over a six pack of Budweiser, the king of beers. So hell yeah. Fried chicken flavored snacks from Japan. It's supposed to taste like fried chicken, so let's see. How the fuck did they do that? You know, that's their favorite food over there. Fried chicken? Yeah, they have more KFCs and one CD block than we do here. Lucky bastards. Yeah, like literally you can walk four blocks and find like 10 KFCs. Yeah. He ain't no fucking mooch, dude. I invited him over here to do this video with me. That's your first warning. Calling Warlord Campbell a mooch. Fuck off, dude. I invited him over here to do this video with me. That's funny, because I work for everything I got. Yeah, right? Mm. In fact, over in Japan, being fat is a sign of being wealthy. Oh, because you're like well-fed, you know. I mm. get that. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe I was taught something a long time ago. Mm. If you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. I see, I honestly think it's funny when people talk shit on me, because I'm just like, hint. Mm -hmm. I'm over here, you're behind the screen. Right. Right. Yeah, if Alex Campbell is such a fucking mooch, then why do you bring over a six pack of Bud Budweiser and a fucking pack of cigars? Yeah, such a fucking mooch, right? Oh, I couldn't be more sarcastic if I wanted to be. I could. <laughs> but I put Deadpool to shame. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but if you think your day is as rough as a sandpaper-covered dildo, have you ever tried one? <laughs> oh, they want to see what you look like. Yeah, just step on camera real quick. Yeah, this guy. And honestly, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm not here to live your life. Um, we're not going to be here to discuss me or Alex's work outside of YouTube. That's just not going to happen. No, nah, not at all. So I tell you, I work for KissMyAss.com. <laughs> I work for FuckingYourMama.com. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I was going to say, if you can manage to do that to my mom, tell her I said hi. Ladies, what's up? Gothic bad boy for your pleasure. And we are starting the bid at $13,000. <laughs> he may have autism, but he's a damn good guitar player and he sings really good. Big if muscles. anything, you can attach a leash to that collar. At least you know he won't go anywhere past the bed. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever had chicks start to change in the bed? No, unfortunately, I have not had that pleasure yet. I never had a pet goat. That was just some stupid bullshit people were doing to me on social media. I made a video saying, well, trolls like to get my goat. It's a figure of speech. Basically, it means that, you know... I had a pet goat once. Really? How was it? It was pretty blood. I mean, he was an asshole and he liked to headbutt a lot, but I figured out how to solve his problem. He wanted somebody to be buddy with. So yeah. we used the butt heads. <laughs> I won. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fag and I'm not gay. You want to fucking say that to me one more time, you little fucker? I'm not gay. I'm not a faggot. I'm not a tranny. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Well, I think it's kind of funny that people still bully in the state of Wyoming. Um when it is now a punishable offense in the legal system. It is punishable by a thousand dollar fine up to one year in jail. Cyberbullying is punishable by a thousand dollar fine and up to a year in jail. Yep, so keep at it. Oh yeah, by the way people, with the threat of nuclear war constantly coming between US and Korea, I've been collecting bottle caps because I wanna be rich when this shit happens. And yes, this is gonna amuse all you sick fucks. <laughs> That's honestly how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna wank on camera, not unless you have four thousand dollars. Oh, more than that, man. Okay, eight thousand. <laughs> but then again, I wouldn't even do it because still, even if it's on video and you're not actually touching them, it's still prostitution. Not to mention, have you, have you ever gone to any house that a gay couple owns and saw something absolutely disgusting? I've never been to a gay couple's house. So Every I gay know. couple's house I've been to is immaculate and beautiful and well kept, even the yard. And that's why property value goes up. Uh huh. <coughs> Not to mention, look at how many kids there are 
in the United States who don't have homes or that comment just got you banned as well, you stupid fucktard. Don't be calling no ho ho. He had a wife and kids, you fuck nugget. You miserable fucktard. Block user. Talking shit on Chester. Go fuck yourself. Do you still have your blow up doll? No, I do not. <laughs> Job, just taking a deep breath and blow out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't, Tim, to answer your question. And to ask a lot of those other questions, no. Josh and I will never kiss. Gross. Right. A shout out to uh, Ted Cruz and his son, Nicholas Cruz. Well, you know, if you're, if you're taking her out to dinner, you're paying for her meals and her drinks and opening the door and being polite and respectful to her mom, stick your hey, tongue uh, up her ass. <laughs> yeah, and you dice clay, ah. Uh. I mean, seriously, what what makes so people so anal about anal? Now, if you like anal with a girl, it's gonna be no different with a guy, because they all look the same from behind. No, it's not true. Who the fuck said I was a transsexual? Fuck that shit. I, I, I don't know, Josh, I don't see any titties on you. No? No? You got, you got a lot of hair. I mean, on your body, too. I mean, unless you were secretly a woman before I met you, which I highly doubt. Yeah. Considering that takes millions of dollars in years to do. Hell, for crying out loud, if it wasn't for my ancestors, women wouldn't have the right to vote. Yes, I am related to the man that made that possible. I am his great-great-grandson, and he is John Allen Campbell. Don't know who he is? Look him up on Wikipedia. I do want to praise Russ and the All-Father, and most definitely, the Machine God. No, Alex is actually bi, he's not. Think about it, some of the most famous societies in history had bisexual temples devoted to orgies, to the goddess of love. The pistol I want to get is a Cobra 38 Special, one of the new ones. Have you ever been with a Japanese chicken bed? No, I haven't. They don't scream, they squeal. <laughs> nice. Oh no, I can't see anything. Hmm. <coughs> God damn it. And a good old famous widow's peak. Alright. I'm obliging the fans and I'm sitting right here, okay? Alright. No, actually, I did not work out. Actually. This is just my natural body structure. This comes quite no, interesting. No, I guess they want us to arm wrestle. <laughs> kind of a show off thing and. No. No, we're not about that on this channel. You know, we're, we're not about comparing dick sizes on this channel because, you know, just from natural appearance, I'd lose. Of course, I don't know. <laughs> I do like to rock. I like to rock out my cock out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I'm gonna touch your weenus. A fucking elbow. <laughs> That's what it's called. The skin on your elbow is called a weenus. Yeah, go figure. The skin on your elbow, that's called your weenus. Uh-huh. Yeah, go figure. Who's got more armpit hair? I don't know. I shave, bitches. I don't. I can sit like this all day. Speck, yes. Yes, look at my glory. My glorious form. <laughs> okay, I have a heavy bolter on Space Marine, right? Right. It's it's fucking stupid. You're lucky I'll come to your house and kill you, you fucking bastard. Well, you don't want to do that. You know you don't. Homeboy Scotty did not fucking die, you assholes. Of course I'm fucking single. No chick wants to fucking date me, and it's miserable. I wake up every day lonely as fuck. What's my favorite race in Warhammer 40k? Will Truth. Okay. Okay, Warhammer 40k. You see my tattoo? Don't fucking tell me how to run my life, Tim. You see my tattoo? Oh my fucking god. Scotty did not die, you stupid motherfuckers. Alright, alright. Why am I not signing in my account? What the hell? No wonder why I couldn't block people. Oh ho, now it's on. Block users. Submit. If you all want to ask me more questions, there will be a video later. Oh, today. you're accusing me of threatening my fans and talking shit. So that's what you did, Tim. You're right, it is bullshit. Oh, you want you want to see how horrible I can be to my fans? You want you want to fucking see? Go fuck yourself, dude. How many fucking times do I gotta say it? He did not die. He did not die. Block user. Submit. A shout out to a Nick, the furniture salesman who just lost his virginity. That's what's up. So you were penetrated by the male penis. 
Uh, Webster's Dictionary, look it up. Uh, I don't think it's what he meant by that. I know. I know. Definitely a shout out to Cradle of Phil. That's an awesome band. Yeah, I'll give a shout out to Ninja Turtles, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo. Yes, you guys are cool as shit. I'm also going to give a shout out to Splinter. Shout out to a Big Lenny. It's his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, we can give a shout out to the God Emperor of Mankind. We can give a shout out to President Trump. I know it's not easy being in that office, dealing with all the bullshit you gotta deal with. No the fuck it is. How the fuck? Really fisting my own butthole? Really, dude? How are you gonna ask that stupid question when you've been watching me on chat for the last fucking, I don't know, two hours? You don't tell me how to fucking breathe? Fuck you, dude. You're getting blocked from my channel. <sighs> I'll breathe however I fucking want to. You ain't my fucking dad. You ain't gonna fucking tell me how to breathe. Fuck you, dude. Uh, I'm done with this live stream. Thanks for yeah. watching. Yeah, I'm a... In March, Warlord and Alex Anderson, rest in peace, conveniently appeared at the end of the cooking video where Josh cooks up a dank stuffed crust pizza. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at you with another video. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my buddies Alex and Alex. What's up? How's it going? Uh, just got off my second day of work, man. Nice, nice. Let me ask you, YouTube, have you ever held down a 180 pound bull of massive while it's getting stitches in his face? Trust me, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I bet. Uh, definitely not fun. Oh, dude, fucking hell yeah, bro. Stuffed crust pizza, baby. He's baking pizza like Hitler bakes juice. Oh. Yeah, I had to go there. Yeah. Ooh, was that one of those uh, menthols? The blue one? Can I try one of those? They're not new, they've been out for a while. I've never had one. You never had a marble smooth? No. What? I've had the marble yeah, I mean, edge and the midnight uh, menthol. I'm a, I've heard, heard that they're pretty good, though. So. Dude, if you've not experienced a marble smooth, then you all need to try one. Cool. Thank you very kindly, sir. Yeah, you need to experience the taste of quality American tobacco. Ooh, and that's oh, some good hey. dude. I'll wait in a moment. Live wire. I'll wait until you're done. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think I've had live wire since they died. No, I can't crack them up. Right on, bro. Thanks. Not a problem. Bro, let's, let's get close up with that sexiness. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Hmm. You can see the stuffed crust right there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Fucking hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Keep telling me she'd open her own restaurant. <laughs> Dude, I ain't had bacon this fucking good in a grip. Right the fuck on, Josh. Mm. I pre-cooked the bacon before putting it on the pizza so it wouldn't be all raw and disgusting when I baked yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, fuck, dude. I fucking we did a second and up. third opinion, and they say it's good, so I bet you it's good. On, Let's try me a slice of that later. We're going to let you know, Josh, that uh, this summer I'm going to be making some uh, rattlesnake jerky if you want to try it. I'm down to try some rattlesnake jerky. I'm yeah. down. Um, <laughs> I'll also be uh, selling it, but uh, mind you, people, it is uh, 22 bucks a pound. Ow! Oh! Flip. <laughs> Flip side. <laughs> In April, Josh reveals that Warlord's girlfriend wanted to fuck Josh and adds that one of Warlord's friends sucked Josh's penis at his apartment. What is up, fellow YouTubers? I was worried about fucking prank callers, man. Using my dad's number to fucking prank call me. It's so juvenile. And it's like, okay, you've got nothing better to do than harass somebody who has autism. The hardest thing about vaping is telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Huh. No, I did not. Believe me. Alex Campbell's wife wanted to have sex with me, and I very politely declined because she was already pregnant. For the simple fact is I don't want to get her pregnant twice. That can't happen, by the way. If a chick's already pregnant and you have sex with her and you're not careful, you can get her pregnant twice. And it just wasn't my scene. And then a couple months later, Alex and his wife end up divorcing. Well, actually, Alex Campbell is bi. Don't bother me none. It's his life, not mine. And for the simple fact of the matter is, is, I didn't want that kind of thing to affect me and Alex's friendship as homies. You know what I'm saying? 
No, that was some chick that I had over at my apartment a couple weeks ago that did that. Like some chick and her friends came over with uh, Alex Anderson and we were drinking, having a good time. Next thing you know, this chick is sucking my dick. Like this chick starts playing with my dick. Like she reaches down my pants and starts playing with my dick. She feels me getting hard that she pulls it out. She's like, and as soon as this chick pulls out my dick, she's like, oh, you got a nice cock. Next thing you know, boom, she's sucking it. I was getting some good head for a good six to eight minutes, and then I grabbed her titties, and then boom, I busted in her mouth. Granted, I didn't, I didn't mean to bust in her mouth, but, you know, shit happens, right? Yeah, and that chick that gave me head, she had some big old titties, too. They were nice. <laughs> uh, oh, Dragon Lord Frodo is some fat, miserable, balding fucktard who's been making fun of me on YouTube and talking shit. Catch you all later. Here's where things get a little spicy. A day after Josh announced he got his dick sucked, one of Josh's fans mentions that Warlord was starting up his own business. Seeing how successful Josh had been at selling his own merchandise, Alex tried to do the same. Alex had begun to create hoodies and t-shirts with his likeness on them to sell, presumably, to Josh's fans. It's safe to conclude that Josh's fans didn't give a shit. At one point, Alex stopped by Josh's house and asked him for help creating his own wand business. Every time Alex asked a question about Josh's wands, Josh would ignore him and say something like, One second, bro. Let me finish this first. Alex gave up and left without any help or insight from Josh. <sighs> Is a Warlord Campbell trying to get a business going? You know, I really do not know, to be honest. I have not seen Alex Campbell in a couple of days. And he said he was going to come hang out. And they never showed up. And then he said he'd come over the next day. Never showed up. I'm not worried about it too much. But at the same time, I'm like, I wonder what's up, you know. That's his uh, gamer tag. That's why they call him that. On April 16th, 2018, while Josh was streaming on Facebook, he did a live fan mail unboxing. Unbeknownst to Josh, one of the trolls sent Josh a t-shirt with a photo of Warlord with his cock printed out on the front. The title of this stream is Unboxing. What are we unboxing? This package here that was sent to me in the mail. It's a white shirt. Check this out. Huh, cool. What the fuck is this nasty shit? Who the fuck's... Oh, dude, that's disgusting. No, dude, no. I'm throwing this shirt away. That's fucking nasty. Fucking nasty, dude. Fucking disgusting. You fucking disgusting motherfuckers. I don't want to fucking see that shit. Fucking disgusting, dude. Send me a picture of my fucking friend's dick on it. You fucking disgusting. Like, grow the fuck up. It was a shirt featuring my friend Alex Campbell and his junk, and I did not want to fucking see that shit. Like, who the fuck sent that, man? I'm going to charge him with sexual harassment. Hold on a second. Let's see. Is there a return address? No, there isn't a... Uh, it was sent by Teespring. God damn it. I'm not going to overreact because obviously it was sent by a troll. That's what they want. They want me to, they want me to re overreact. Josh would go on to live stream twice and discuss the shirt that had been sent to him. Josh explains that Alex had wanted to become a porn star. Um, what I get in the mail today? Just some stupid bullshit t-shirt. I'm not even going to react to it or say what was on it. Well, how would you feel if somebody had sent a picture of one of your best friends naked on the front of a fucking t-shirt? Someone sent me a t-shirt with Alex Campbell's junk on the front of it, and I was not happy about that. It was kind of disgusting, actually. Yes, that's incredibly rude. I'm assuming Alex Campbell 
was he was telling me about getting his porn star license and stuff like that. So now they probably took the picture of him from off the internet somewhere. And yeah, it is sad that people would waste their time and money and waste Teespring's money just to fucking troll me. Yeah, I can't imagine what the Teespring workers were thinking when they were printing it, let alone why the fuck is someone sending this guy this thing? What's that clicking sound? I put that back in my holster. You see, that's just the thing of it, man, is I instantly regretted what I did as soon as I did it. Like, the second I cheated on Stephanie, I instantly felt bad. Like... So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all later. I wasn't prepared for that last troll gift that I got, and I deleted the video of me opening it. And to be fair, I didn't react to it overly dramatic. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, like, freak out about it. I was like, this is gross and lame, and I threw it away. Yes, indeed. Why would trolls make an inappropriate T-shirt that I would not want to see and send it to me? Because the answer is, why? Why? The answer is because they want a reaction. They think it's funny. Sending me a picture with a friend of mine on the front of it. Now, my buddy Alex Campbell is a registered porn star. He told me this, whether I wanted to hear it or not. I says to him, good for you, bro. You're getting your life together. Hell yeah, you can make some decent money doing that. Just be smart, you know? And I didn't know he had a fucking profile set up because he didn't tell me because... That's just not the kind of thing I want to know. Someone took a screenshot from his profile, printed it on a Teespring t-shirt, and sent it to me. I wanted to pour hydrogen peroxide in my eyes after seeing that. The stuff in the brown bottle that burns like hell? Yeah. Like, whoever did that's going to have a shit ton of bad karma coming their way. I tell you that right now. It's, you want to call me a loser and this and that? You want to call me names in the comment section? That's fine. But when you're trolling me trolling my friends and trolling my family and when you're trolling people i know just to get at me that's kind of crossing the line like some of these people that obsessively fuck with me need serious mental help i rule their sad miserable lives i swear to god it's like they sit in their fucking mom's basement the stank of unwashed socks and empty bags of chips empty cans of soda this sweaty, fat ass sitting behind a keyboard going, how am I going to fuck with this autistic now? Or oh, I'll show him. How dare he be confident in himself? <laughs> that was pretty funny. We fucked with him again. <laughs> it's like, okay, you could be doing something productive with your life. You could be getting a hobby. But instead, you're, t you're attacking me because I'm not afraid to be myself. What does that show to you? It shows you're jealous of me and that you're insecure with who you are as a person. Otherwise, you wouldn't attack somebody else who isn't. Why buy a handgun? Because you never know what these trolls are going to do next. And not saying I'm paranoid about them stalking me and trying to attack me in my apartment or anything. Because I don't think they hate me that much. But it doesn't hurt to be prepared. And here's something else they don't want you to know. Area 51 is not only hiding aliens and spacecrafts, it's also hiding fallen angels and demons and that sort of thing. The kind of stuff they don't want you to fucking find out that exists. <coughs> a few days after getting the glorious Warlord cock shirt, Alex appeared on a Facebook live stream with Josh to discuss the shirt. Alex tells Josh that the shirt got him fired from his job working at a veterinary clinic. Alex loved working at the veterinary clinic as it was a great change of pace from the dish pits of Casper. On his first day, he had the privilege of injecting a Clydesdale with ketamine. After Alex's firing, he allegedly contacted his attorney. He also told Josh that Google was suing Teespring, which of course was bullshit. What is up, fellow YouTubers? Wow, how the fuck did you guess that? Is Warlord Campbell in the background? How the hell did they guess that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that troll that's fucked with me using... Yeah, I'm not going to go into detail of it. The shirt that was sent to me by that stupid troll. That motherfucker is having his shit royally fucked up. You don't fuck with me and my friends. You want to call me a faggot or a tranny, this and that, in the comment section, fine, whatever, right? 
But sending someone a picture with a T-shirt with a picture of their best friend's dick on the front, that's not cool. That's blatant sexual harassment. And the simple fact of the matter is, is that shirt got my buddy fired from his job because a customer came into his job wearing it. That's fucked. Trust and belief. It's going to hoo-hoo. You, you think it's funny until it happens to you. Teespring and Google are duking it out right now. Now, somebody bought it, and I guess they knew him somehow, and they went to his place of work. And, I, and he was trying to make an honest living helping animals and stuff. And this is the thanks he gets. Alex is a licensed porn star officially, and he has an account separate from his Google that has pictures of him. And someone hacked into his Google account and stole all the pictures from him and then use it to make an inappropriate Teespring shirt. I'm surprised they put it on the market. You think they would reject it before they hit the market? Yeah, and now they printed it. Google is suing Teespring, so yeah, they should have thought twice. They should have been like, "Um, oh, we're not printing this." Or oh, the person that sent me that shirt from Teespring is getting the sh shit sued out of them. Through quick 10 seconds of ha ha, I fucked with King Cobra and his friends. Was it worth it? Because now you're going to be in prison for a couple of years, buddy. You know, I think it's kind of funny, though. What's that? Your leggings cost forty four ninety nine, but yet a t-shirt of my dick and myself is 12 bucks. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking Teespring. <laughs> and there's more, there's more print in that. And I'll catch you cool Cobras later. And the person who used Teespring to fucking harass me and my friend Alex. You're going down, dude. You are so going down. You know, there's a lot. You want to harass me? Whatever. That's your fucking sad life, not mine. But there's a line you don't cross. And when you cross that fucking line, you're going to end up really fucking yourself hard. And not in a good way either. In August 2018, for no reason at all, Alex had a meltdown and was sent to a mental hospital. After Alex left the mental hospital, Valerie confessed to him that she had cheated on him and contracted an STD. The confession had such an impact that Alex broke down again and was readmitted to the mental hospital. In September 2018, Valerie gave birth to her and Alex's baby. Unfortunately, the baby was born deaf and made it hard for the couple to look after the baby. After Valerie had a mental episode, the baby was taken from the couple and put into care because child services worried that Valerie would neglect the child. In response, Alex had another meltdown and went back to the mental hospital. Josh did not talk about Alex again in his videos or live streams for roughly six months. Around September 2018, a troll bought the domain name CobraCraftWands.com and began using it as a tool to troll Josh. The website would redirect the visitor to random things like gay porn, and Josh's fans would often trick Josh by telling him to visit the link and see where it went. Uh, what up, Facebook? Josh Saunders, a troll bought the URL for your wands. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I clicked on the link and it took me to a disgusting link, dude. What the fuck? Okay, CobraCraftWands.com is not the official Etsy page. Okay, you have to go to Etsy. Wow, dude, that's beyond fucked up. And not only do they redirect, not only do they redirect the Cobra Craft Wands URL to an X video, it's a video of my friend Alex Campbell. Get the fuck out of here. That is so bullshit, dude. That is so bullshit. Like, I don't care if my buddy Alex Campbell's doing gay porn. That's his schnick. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it is, that's beyond fucked. And regardless of who it is on the video, it's still beyond fucked, dude. Uh, no. Gothic D and Warlord Alex are not in cahoots, considering Alex is my friend. He wouldn't do that kind of thing. Fuck the haters, man. I'm not letting them get to me. When visiting CobraCraftWands.com, Josh saw a video of Warlord inserting a small dildo in and out of his anus, demonstrating excellent muscle control. Alex left the mental hospital and moved into Valerie's mother's home. Time passed and nothing was heard from Warlord for a few months into 2019. But on May 20th, Valerie uploaded a picture of her ultrasound to Facebook. 
Alex was arrested for domestic battery on the same day and was featured on Casper's local news website, Oil City News. Alex was also held for probation and parole on the 16th of July, 2019. Alex and Valerie were expecting a second child in September, but separated just before the baby was born. I've been all right, trying to get my little girl back. She got, she was born very ill, and we had to go down to a different hospital or a different state, and I had to come back up to the state for work, and two days after I came back up for work and went back to work, it took her. You're completing what they want to do. I mean, I'm on probation right now. Well, like, I got on probation for domestic battery. It was really stupid because, like, I was drinking, and I got a little upset, and I scared my wife, and... She almost fell into concrete. We kept her from falling into concrete. And she got a little bruise from that. And that's what I got a domestic battery charge for. It's totally stupid. The only reason I pled guilty is because, well, if I'm guilty of domestic battery for keeping my pregnant wife from falling face first into concrete, well, I'm glad we take that charge. Valerie began a long distance relationship with a woman, but that didn't last very long. Valerie's mother was opposed to the relationship, believing in gay conversion therapy. So where is Alex now? Alex returned to Casper and hangs out with Josh sometimes off camera and does not talk or get involved as much as he did in the past. What's up, fellow YouTubers? Yellow? Hey, what up, bro? I'm at your back door. If I can come visit for a bit. Yeah, I'm on live stream, so you can come hang out with me. All right. All right, ladies. One second. I'm going to go let my buddy Alex Campbell inside. Punk Rock says I miss homeboy Alex Anderson. Yeah, that was kind of a trip. Oof, Warlord Campbell over here. What's up? Yeah. I've never even heard of the Smiths, honestly. This concludes our story on Alex Warlord Campbell. Warlord holds a special place in Josh's fans' hearts. Some find him annoying, but others found him and his stories entertaining. In the end, it's up to you if you liked Warlord and if you miss him or not. As with all Cobra lore, to be continued. What's up, bite-sized cover pieces?